I was a drug addict, and when I when, and I was looking for love, and I was looking for the encouragement, something I was looking for something I never had before. And when I came to CAM, seeing people like the CAM people, the workers, the volunteers, they gave me something that I was looking for. Um, they gave me. Uh, the encouragement that I needed, that it's not all bad people in the world, there is good people who care. I want to let people know that this place is here to help them and not to hurt them because when I came, like I said, I was hurt, I was broken, didn't have no one to turn to, and this place gave me an open door that it can be done, and I want others to know that just like he did it for me, he'll do it for you. The first time I really met Mary was well after her recovery and after she'd gotten off of the streets. Mary came to CAM because she wanted to volunteer and um, she had a sparkle in her eye and a beautiful smile and we all loved her. And um, pretty soon she sa shared with us that she had actually been one of our clients and that CAM was a place that she could come for respite, that she could check her mail, that she could get some help. And um, I just felt really excited to know that we didn't know what God's plan was for Mary or how long it would take her to recover, but God did, and we played a little part in that. If you imagine an emergency room takes anybody from any zip code for a short-term illness or a chronic illness, and CAM sort of operates that way. Um, single moms walk into our door, women who've been battered and are escaping um, a, a battered situation, families whose homes have burned down, senior citizens on fixed income, people with mental and physical illness can all walk through our door. And what CAM tries to do is assess that immediate need, provide those physical needs while praying for and loving on the clients, and then helping them discover where they might go, where the specialists might be. You know, when you check out of a hospital emergency room, you get that one-time help, but then the doctor suggests where you need to go to get long-term help. And that's sort of how CAM operates. CAM was founded 42 years ago by nine downtown churches. Like many churches in our community, they saw people walking in and out of their doors and, um, some church leadership at that time just had the wisdom to say, what would it look like if the body of Christ came together to serve those in need? How much bigger and how much more could we do together? And so now, 42 years later, CAM serves 50,000 people on an annual basis. It's supported by over 80 churches. We have 200 volunteers. It really is a testimony to what following um, God's command to help others can do. So if you are interested to find out how you might be a volunteer, or you could donate gently used items, or you could donate your treasures, please visit our website at www.cam-sa.org, or give us a call at 210-223-4099. Anyone can make a difference.